No, no, Amber, Amber, you didn't do brilliantly last week in the test. Um, only getting an F. This is a harder paper than the one you did uh, as a test. So let's see how you get on uh, with this sort of when you're allowed to use a calculator. <coughs> you missed out one of the questions there. Uh, and here, you need to add that zero. Just because your calculator doesn't put it in, because we're talking about money, that is something that has to be there. So only two marks for that. 20% uh, isn't 30. And again, you're allowed to use a calculator. 20% on your calculator, you would tap in as 0 0.20 times your 158.8, and that will give you your answer. Uh, capacity of a cap is millilitres and that one is 400 centimetres squared so 2 out of 4 for that 90 grams is correct well done 7 for the page <coughs> chord and tangent are correct chord has a h in it but they will mark it wrong um, I would have hoped you'd have a ruler at home that you could answer that uh, this perpendicular means a right angled line like that. So two there. That's right, well done. Five for that page. That's good. Base should work out if that net is right. <coughs> I don't think it is because what is there is the um, the base, the 5 by 7 should be that one there and this one is the back so that's the <coughs> 4 by 7 so you've got them the wrong way around but you've got the idea of what a net is so you get a mark for, for that but your shape doesn't quite join up correctly but well done for having a go <coughs> good good Good. Excellent. Here, another percentage question. 53%, as if you're writing 53 pence, but having to use pounds. And then multiply by 82, and we'll work it out. 6 is correct. Um, that is correct. However, you've gone wrong in, between, in the middle there. That is not a 4. But it doesn't matter, your answer is right. 3, 5, 10 for that page. Good page, well done. <coughs> this one, a toy costs T pence, write down in terms of T, the cost of the toy in pounds. So if it cost um, 400 pence, we wouldn't say 400 pence, we'd say four pound. So what you do into the 400 to get four is dividing by 100. <coughs> so what they're looking for there is that. Well then, first one to get that X plus three, right? Um, right, when you're working out range, you have to work out the answer. So you have to do 82, take away 24, equals 58. The range is 58. It's not enough to say, oh, it's between there and there. The mean is 52. Well done. Now, <coughs> if you save £15 less every month, then every month would be £15 less, which would take £15 off the mean value. So the mean is 52 take away 15. For the range, 
because the difference between the largest and the smallest has both had 15 taken off it, the range is unaffected, so the range will stay the same. And those are things that we will practice um, in the coming weeks. Two, four, six, seven, ten for the page. Both lines should meet, um, and you should buy an angle measurer so that you can answer questions like that at home. Watch how I go through that one in particular on the video clip. Make sure you can understand it. These we will practice in class. <coughs> 157, it isn't 46, um, it's 41, so check your calculator again there. Two forty one is correct, well done. Six for the page. This is distance speed time, which you'd have practiced in science, I'm sure. Hundred and twenty two is correct. Hundred and seventy three fifteen is correct, as is that. You need to put them there, but also you need to realize that they're negative. So you only get one mark there two for the page <coughs> ABE CDC yeah AD E B C E yeah A C A B C A <coughs> A C E is a line so that bit is wrong I think that should have been a D. Still two marks. And this one is a really nasty question. So let's see what we've done here. 80 buttons in a day, 600 bags in a day. don't think you're right there Let me just get the right so you should be multiplying those two together to find out the total number of buttons there's nowhere where you were doing that. 18,000 red buttons. No. No, there's nothing there that is correct. 40,000. Eighty times five hundred is forty thousand. So that bit's right, but then you've lost a naught, which you've done there. <coughs> <coughs> so again, take a look at how I've gone through that. It's very difficult for me to point out where you've gone wrong uh, because from the word go, you haven't worked out. Uh, the total number of buttons that you're working with. Okay, so you should have started by doing that times that and then progressed from there. Still, you're the first one to give that one a go, so uh, well done for having a start. Right, 
Okay, Amber. 7, 12, 15, 25, 35, 41, 43, 45, 46. So actually, you've done a lot better in this paper than you did in the first one. Um, 46 is a grade D. It's about 12 marks off a C, but um, you are very encouraged by that because it's quite a challenging paper and you had a good stab at some quite tricky questions. Well done.